want to start this video off by actually apologizing a little bit because I thought there were only going to be two videos before the Grand Finals, but there's actually four. And in the first group for the third video, we have Reyna Racing, Shababy, RAF, and Puff. RAF is a vehicle that represents race, races and fun themselves. And they are going to grab that first win, finishing with a 2.54. That is currently tied for the fastest time we've had so far. Dusty Miles was the other person to grab a time that fast. So things are already looking pretty high up in positivity for RAF. And now for the second race, they are starting out on the outside lane there. And they grab the win yet again. Finishing once more with a 2.54. They're already slightly more consistent than Dusty Miles, but only ever so slightly. So now, RAF is the next vehicle to just need one more victory to stamp their way into the next round. And it looks like they're gonna get it. No competition whatsoever. And another 2.54. We've had at least a couple races, I believe, at this point. Get very close to finishing at the exact same time in all four races they were in. But I don't think anyone's been able to do it just yet. Now RAF is looking to get a fourth consecutive win. Joining the roster of undefeated racers. And he's going to get it. Was he able to get faster than 2.54? Yes, he was! Finishing with a 2.53. An ever so slight improvement, but now they are the solo holder of the fastest time so far. And now for the second group in this video. And in that second group, we have 4114 Racing, Big Cat, Tito, and Sneaky Bob. Some of these racers just go to show that creative designs can always stand out in a great way. But for now, it is Sneaky Bob who grabs the first win, showing once more how some of these stretched out vehicles seem to do really well on these tracks, whether it be in this tournament or in previous ones. But Sneaky Bob grabs that first win, they just need two more. And now the drag race begins here. Sneaky Bob does have a slight lead. Big Cat looks like he was on his tail, but losing that speed very quickly and Sneaky Bob grabs another win. Finishing with a 2.61 this time around. That is a little slow compared to some of our faster racers. But as long as you move on, you have every opportunity to improve the next time you appear. And it looks like Sneaky Bob will be appearing in the future because they just need one more win. And so far, no one's been able to pass them. It looked like Big Cat might have a shot there, but I think Sneaky Bob was able to still grab another win. Double check on the replay, and it definitely looks like it's in Sneaky Bob's favor. Yep, so he will be moving on next. Now they just need one more win to be another racer in this roster to be undefeated. So far, they actually started neck and neck with Tito and Big Cat. And I think Sneaky Bob was able to get that fourth win, but that definitely was a little bit closer than some of the previous ones. But I think they're going to give it to Sneaky Bob. And they will! So far, I believe we've only had one racer out of every group so far that has moved on that wasn't undefeated, and that was Boomershine. Let's see if anyone else will join him in that category. Right now, with Rebel Racer Mr. Dark, Amy Russell, and Nick Devers, it looks like Rebel Racer grabbed that first win. But he did have a little bit of competition there by Mr. Dark. So no one is out of the woods yet. And I think I mentioned this in the last tournament, but Rebel Racer definitely has some advantage to a degree with how flat that vehicle is. It could be a lot more aerodynamic that way. But I'm no physics major, so I could very well be wrong about that. But they did grab a second win, so now they're sitting a little bit more comfortably. Mr. Dark is definitely keeping him on his toes, though. So one even slight slip-up could mean the end. But now Rebel Racer just one race away. They did start out a little bit slower than Nick Devers and Mr. Dark, but now they are stretching their nose out 
and they managed to grab that third win, finishing under 2.6 this time around. So they will automatically be moving on, but can anyone stop him from a fourth win? We'll have to see. But as the race begins, Rebel Racer is already on in front as they go down that hill and he grabs that fourth win. Finishing under 2.6 yet again. That should boost their confidence at least a little bit. But now we have one group left to go. Let's see who is in it. We have Graveyard King, Matt McNear, Robocop, and Billy Bob Outback. Robocop specifically was in a very, uh, shall we say, rare and interesting group in the last tournament. Where in the excuse me, the preliminaries, they were the only racer in their group to finish at all. But now they have a little bit more competition in a drag race like this. And they did finish in last, so they have to pick up the pace if they want to move on yet again. But right now, Billy Bob Outback has the lead in points, but it looks like Graveyard King actually stopped him already from being undefeated. If that's the case, then we have two racers that will move on that are not undefeated, regardless of who it is. And that's exactly what happened. Graveyard King and Billy Bob Outback are now tied for points after two races. So now it's not going to be set in stone after this third one. Billy Bob Outback does have a slight lead, but Graveyard King takes it away from him yet again. So Billy Bob Outback, it was looking good for him after that first race, but Graveyard King has now tipped the odds in their favor. This next race could decide it all, or maybe there will be a tiebreaker. We'll have to see. But Billy Bob Outback needs to finish in front of Graveyard King, and it looks like that will not happen as Graveyard King edges him out and Graveyard King will be moving on. Usually after the first race or two, you have an idea of who will move on, but not in this case. So now we have our next four racers, and only four slots left, I believe. Thank you all so much for watching. See you next time.